We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 5, Chapter 1, The Activities of Maharaj Priyavrata, Text Number 2. Nanunam Mukta Sanganam Nanunam Mukta Sanganam Tadrishananam Tadrishanam Dvijashaba Tadrishanam Vidashaba Greheshwabhi Vineshoyam Greheshwabhi Vabini Vishoyam, Vabini Vishoyam, Pumsam Babitam Arhati, Pumsam Babitam Arhati, Nanunam Mukta Sanganam, Nanunam Mukta Sanganam, Tadrishanam Dvijashaba, Tadrishanam Dvijashaba, Grehesh Babini Vishoyam, Pumsam Bhavitam Arhati Pumsam Bhavitam Arhati Nanan 
ृहेशमी ृहेशम सर्टनली Mukta Sangana, Mukta Sangana, who are free from attachment. Who are free from attachment. Tadrishanam, Tadrishanam, such, such. Dvija Rishaba, Dvija Rishaba. Oh, oh, greatest, oh, greatest of the Brahmanas. Greheshu Greheshu to family life to family life abhinivesha abhinivesha excessive attachment excessive attachment ayam ayam this this pumsam pumsam of persons of persons bavitum bavitum to be to be Arhati, Arhati is possible. Is possible. Translation: Devotees are certainly liberated persons. Therefore, O greatest of the brahmanas, they cannot possibly be absorbed in family affairs. Purport by Shri Prabhupada. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, it is said that by executing devotional service to the Lord, one can understand the transcendental position of the living being and the supreme personality of Godhead. The supreme personality of Godhead cannot be understood. by any means except bhakti the lord confirms this in shrimad bhagavatam 11 14 to 21 bhakti aham ekaya grahaya meaning only by executing devotional service can one appreciate me lord krishna is speaking only by executing devotional service can one appreciate me similarly in bhagavad gita 1855 lord krishna says bhakti mama bijanati simply by discharging devotional service one can understand me thus for a bhakta to become attached to family affairs is impossible 
since a bhakta and his associates are liberated, everyone is searching after ananda or bliss. But in the material world, there can never be any bliss. It is only possible in devotional service. Attachment for family affairs and devotional service are incompatible. Therefore, Maharaj Parikshit was somewhat surprised to hear that Maharaj Priyavrata was simultaneously attached to devotional service and to family life. Om Magyana Timurandasya Gyanam Jana Shavataya Chaksuran Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama Vancha Kaupata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pahanibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadara Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Maharaj Parikshit is speaking this verse. He said, devotees are certainly liberated persons. Therefore, O greatest of the brahmanas, meaning he's addressing Sukadeva Goswami, they cannot possibly be absorbed in family affairs. So Maharaj Priyavrata is showing that you can that you can be absorbed in family affairs and at the same time you can be a liberated soul. So it's possible that people in different positions in society that they can be all engaged in devotional service. It's not that because someone's absorbed in family life that they're not Krishna conscious. They can also be Krishna conscious, right? There's the Mahajanas, the 12 authorities of devotional service are called the Mahajanas. And uh, some, more than half of them are in family life. Swayambhu Brahma is a married man. Swayambhu Brahma. Swambhu Narada is a brahmachari, but Lord Shiva is with a wife. Lord Shiva has his wife. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Komar, Komar are brahmacharis, and Kapila is brahmachari, but Manu is in family life. Manu was a householder, and Priyavrata was one of his sons. So Manu. It's a family life. And then uh, Prahlad Maharaj was in family life. Prahlad Janaka Maharaj was in family life. And Bhishma was Brahmachari. And then uh, Bali Maharaj was in family life. And Vyasa Sukadeva Goswami was a Brahmachari. And then Yamaraj, Lord Yamaraj, he was in family life. So more than half out of the twelve, seven of them were in family life. So family life is not an obstacle to devotional service if one is Krishna conscious. One has to be, just be uh, trained in Krishna consciousness to control the mind and senses. They should not be attached to the, the comfort of the material world. 
right? In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna says, Bhogai Swarya Prasakta Nam Thaya Parita Chetasam Vaya Vasayatmika Buddhi Samado Navadiyate Bhog, Bhog Aishwarya, Bo, people are attached to Bhoga and Aishwarya, then they, they will not get the goal. Though in the minds of those who are attached to material enjoyment, Bhoga and Aishwarya and sense gratification, then the resolute determination for devotional service will not take place. So. It's not that one cannot have opulence, but the, the, the main the thing is you should not be attached to it. You shouldn't be attached to opulence. And Srila Prabhupada one time he was asked about what what is it what is it like in family life? And Prabhupada said, Oh, it's like going to a feast and fasting. <laughs> In other words, you go to a, you know, in family life there's the opportunity for sense gratification and for comfort, comfortable living and like that. But you have to, you have to control the mind and senses. In family life people will think they can sleep late every morning, they think no need to get up early, you know, and I'm in family life. We will sleep late, sleep late at night, get up late in the morning. They won't practice any discipline. So of course that is not good. You have to, we have to control the mind and senses. So there's no, there's no objection to people being in family life, but we, we object to people who are lazy and who are not determined to conquer over the material desires. People have to be a very uh, serious and strict with their self and then they can be successful. And then we said yesterday there's two kinds of family life, there's two kinds of people who are in family life. There's the grihasta and there's the grihamedi. The Greha Medi is the one who is only in thinking about material enjoyment, sense gratification. The Greha Medi is all business is always envious, he's always envious of others. That, oh, they've got a bigger house than us, oh, they have a better car than us, oh, they have more children than us. Like that. So they, they just envy other people and they try to compete with others and they want to improve their own standard of living. Mm -hmm. So that is Grihamedi. But Grihasta is a spiritual ashram. So people who are Grihastas, they're in family life not for sense gratification but for spiritual advancement. Mm -hmm. They make advancement on the spiritual path by being in family life. So Krishna consciousness is available to people in every ashram. Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written a song, he said, Grihe tako vani tako chabahari boli tako, right? You can understand the meaning. <laughs> Grihe tako means if you're in the family life, Grihe tako vani tako, if you're renounced in the forest. It doesn't matter what position you're in, if you're a devotee then I want your association, I want your association. We don't, call, we don't discriminate that, oh you can't be an advanced devotee, you're in family life. No, we don't say that. We don't judge people's spiritual advancement by the colour of their cloth or by their ashram. We have to see how they live and what they do, you know. We have to see how much they're attached to Krishna and to doing service for the pleasure of the Lord. 
That is the important thing. Not just simply, oh, I'm, I'm a very renounced person, I'm single. You know, that, that is, doesn't mean and you're very advanced just because you're single. We have to see how much you're serving Krishna. And so there, there are many householders who are very advanced. Just like there was a, one devotee of Lord Chaitanya called Ramananda Rai. So Ramananda Rai, he was from Orissa, from Puri. So he was a, a, he was serving in the the and the govern under the government of uh, Maharaj Prataparudra. Prataparudra was the king of Utkal. You know Utkal, Arisa, and all the way down to Chennai. All the way from Orissa to Chennai. Yeah, it was all one kingdom, Utkal. Mm. Utkal. Yeah. Under Prataparudra. Yeah, under Prataparudra. Oh. He was a powerful king. Mm -hmm. So Ramananda Rai, he was the governor of one part of the kingdom of the king. He was the governor of, uh, he was in, uh, uh, what is it called? What's the name of that place? Uh. He was the governor, right? Yeah, he was the governor of part of the kingdom of. Maharaj Prataparudra. You know where the... Kaveri? Yeah. Godavari? Where the Godavari Very is? Very close. Sri Ramana. Near Trichy. Not, 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 not Trichy, but um, there's no. a, another place that... A, a lot of Ramanuj temples there. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. Please. What's the name of the place? I forget now. Mm -hmm. no. Anyway, he was the governor there. I'm Lord Chaitanya went to meet him. He was, well, Lord Chaitanya was traveling to South India mm -hmm. and when he was traveling, he was taking bath at the Kaveri, at the Godavari, mm -hmm. taking bath and the, this governor came there. The governor came with a big entourage and he met Lord Chaitanya and Lord Chaitanya began to ask questions to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lord Chaitanya was asking Ramananda Rai questions. Ramananda Rai said, hey, th this is not right. He said, I'm, I'm a householder and I'm a, from a low-class family. By caste, by caste he was, you know, low. But he's, Lord Chaitanya was from a, he was born in a Brahmana family and he was a sannyasi. So Ramananda Rai said, your position is so much senior to me, said, you should be ask, I should be asking you questions, but you're asking me questions. So Lord Chaitanya said, Kiba vipra kiba nasi sutra keni nai ye krishna tadvavet se guru hai. Kiba vipra, it means you may be a brahmana, vipra. Kiba vipra kiba nasi, you may be a sannyasi, a renunciate, or you may be a sudra. Doesn't matter what position, but ye, Krishna tattva vet se guru hoy. If you know the science of Krishna, then you can be the spiritual master. If you know the science of Krishna. So, Lord Chaitanya said that, you know, he said to Ramananda, I said, because you know the science of Krishna, so I am asking you a question. Mm -hmm. So that, that we should understand like that, that qualification of the spiritual teacher is not material. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not that you have to be born in a particular family and mm -hmm. like that. but. How much we, we have, how much we know about Krishna? So Ramananda Rai, he knew so many, so much about Krishna. He was a very advanced devotee. So he could answer all the questions of Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya liked very much Ramananda Rai. He told Ramananda Rai, retire, give up that job. 
and come and stay with me in Puri. Mm -hmm. And Ramananda Rai did. He went back and he told the king, I'm going to retire. King said, no problem, he said, I'll give you full pension. You can stay with Lord Chaitanya because the king wanted to please Lord Chaitanya. So he gave him full pension. So Ramananda Rai used to be with Lord Chaitanya every day and they would talk and he would hear about Krishna from him. So Lord Chaitanya had three and a half confidential devotees, three and a half. The half was a lady, there was a lady. She was the one of the confidential associates of Lord Chaitanya, an elderly lady. She, she's half? Huh? She's the half. Yeah, there were three and a half confidential. Ramananda Rai was one and then Swarup Damodar Goswami was one. And then there was somebody called Siki Mahiti mm -hmm. and then the, the old lady was the sister of Siki Mahiti, his sister. So it said, in, it said in the Chaitanya Charitamrita that Lord Chaitanya had three and a half confidential devotees. The half was the, the sister, the elder lady. So we do not uh, discriminate against people on basis of their body or their, their birth or anything. We have to see how much they know the science of Krishna. That's the important thing. They should know about Krishna. So Ramananda Rai knew. So Lord Chaitanya accepted him. So spiritual advancement is based on how much one has got knowledge about Krishna and how much they are detached from the material world. You see that if they should, there should be two things, there should be jnan and vairagya. Jnan means knowledge and vairagya detachment. So those two things should be there for somebody who is cultivated devotion then they will have jnana and vairagya. It's, uh, it's really difficult to find out uh, who is a great devotee, right? Sometimes it's difficult, right? Yeah. From outside it looks like uh, somebody is renounced, but somebody is really opulent, but we don't know how they are uh, um, the consciousness of that person. It's really difficult to find a few devotees that, to understand that, right? The, the, yes. Then right. we have to, how can we find out? It's not possible for us. Well, you have to know what is a pure devotee, you have to know. Mm. You're looking for a guru, you have to know what is a guru, mm. what, what's the qualification? Yeah, they have to know the science of Krishna. Yeah. Well, they have to know you, but you're looking for a guru, you want somebody, you have to know yourself something. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't know what you're looking for. Yeah, huh? some little basics. Yeah, you have to know. Yeah. Just like you want to buy gold, you have to identify gold, you have mm. to know what is gold. Otherwise, you can be cheated. Yeah. Mm, they think uh, if a guru is very famous, they have many disciples, then he's a great person. Yeah. But uh, lately I understood it's not true. Uh, then uh, if a uh, guru has uh, a lot of powers, then uh, they think uh, it's a great person, personality, uh -huh. if they have powers. Uh -huh. Right? It's also not true. Okay. If they have powers. Mystic powers? Yes, powers, some powers. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's material qualification. Mystic powers, somebody's got mystic powers, that's a, a, it's not spiritual. But I see pure devotees also have mystic powers, but they don't use them, they don't show them because they don't want to attract people. Sometimes you get people who are attracted to mystic powers. If they have mystic powers, then they can cure the sick. So they will attract all the sick people. You get all the sick people come. And people, who, if, if you produce gold, then you, you get all the materialistic people who want gold. Mm 
you know, they will all come to you because they think he'll give me some gold. You know? But if you, the, the real devotees, the pure devotees, they won't show these kind of things because they know they, they'll just attract the wrong kind of people. But they also have. But they also have powers, yeah. Pure devotees also have powers. But they detest. Hmm? But they detest. Yeah. Hmm. They won't use the powers to attract pop to attract ordinary common people. They want to attract the the genuine the people who really want to know about God, who really want to understand God. They want to attract these people. So the We don't want to just attract sick people or people who are greedy to get gold. <laughs> you know, there's enough of those people. Okay. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam ki what uh, we ha we have to leave by 7:30 oh. so we will have the rt little earlier or what yeah. should we do gurmara 6 o'clock like that 7:30 so is enough time to get there to do everything yeah, yeah. The, we we have to reach before 8 so we have to start by here by 7:30 uh -huh. so what do you so think we should do rt 6:30 6:30 uh -huh. okay Okay, Guru Maharaj. 6.30 to 7.15 you should finish. Yeah. I mean, do the uh, breakfast. Six. I won't take breakfast. Oh, you should take something, Guru Maharaj, because you're going to yes. reach by 12 o'clock. Well, just pack it for me. I'll take it a little. Pack it, huh? Yeah. Uh, something like a dosa. Yeah. That is good, no? Yeah. Dosa with chutney, tea chutney. Yeah. Yeah, they allow dry, chutney. little bit dry. It's okay, they allow. Very liquid? They, liquid, they won't allow, yeah. right. I also take... Uh, yeah. Some cakes, maybe they like be, that. That would be, be good. Dosa. Yeah, dosa will be good. Ah, they will yeah, yeah, but no. Not uh, liquid. Yeah, dry. Liquid, a little bit of water. No, little bit. Water, no? Coconut, you can drink. Coconut. Water, you can drink. Oh, so you can put coconut uh, water and drink? How you can open the, the coconut? Drink, you cannot take. Coconut, drink, no? Can you take the coconut with the shell? Okay, okay. Sorry, it's okay. Okay, okay. Like, uh, oh, yes, I can. Yeah, dry, dry. Okay, I don't need help. Yeah. We can uh, do this other thing. Okay, take care. I, I have